How's it going, guys? It's Rad C at a WWE TLC 2018 match card and predictions. The final pay-per-view of 2018. We are almost at the end of this terrible year of wrestling. We are almost here. We can all dream that 2019 will be better, damn it. But yeah, how about we just how about we just jump right into it? So, first matchup we have, we have a chairs match. It will be contested between Rey Mysterio against Randy Orton. Eh, I know Rey's returning, but you know I see this field going over into 2019, so I'm going to take Randy Orton to win the match, so give me Randy in that one. Next up, we have our finals for the Mixed Match Challenge Season 2. It is the team of R-Truth and Carmella versus the team of Trash Alicia, Jabber Mahal and Alicia Fox. And this match, of course, will mean fuck all to either the career. Wait, what? Wait, what? what? The number 30 spot for both Rumble matches are on the line? No, no, no. I, fa I fail to believe this. I refuse to. That cannot be real. That's gotta be fake news. And even if it's real, it doesn't make a goddamn difference, because neither of these four are going to win their Rumble matches, respectively. Screw it, I could care fucking less who wins this match. I could see it going to trash Alicia, to be perfectly honest. So fans can protect both their work, both their talentless asses. Since both of them suck, and having them enter, enter at number 30 would protect them. So I'll take fucking trash Alicia, I don't care for this match. Next up, we have a cruiserweight title match. Hopefully this one is actually good. So we have Buddy Murphy defending against Cedric Alexander. So yeah, Buddy took the title off Cedric. Um, I expect Buddy Murphy to retain. I believe this is supposed to be the end of the feud. Like this is this title is not rumored to change hands, so give me Buddy Murphy retaining. Next up, we have a ladder match with a guitar above the ring. We it will be contested between Elias and Bobby Lashley. I think it's obvious, clear as day, Leo's gonna get involved. But I'm going to say Elias will win the match. Give me Elias winning that matchup. So then our next matchup, we have Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. Well, Drew's supposed to begin a push to the main roster, to the main event pitcher right away. So I'm, so I'm going to take Drew McIntyre to win this match. Maybe this means Drew will win the Universal title? We'll have to see. Depends on if Brock Lesnar decides to actually show up. So next up, we have our we have a tables match. Natalia versus Ruby Riot. Honestly, the build up to this feud it reminds me of TLC 2010, when the t with the team of Natalia and Beth Phoenix going up against Lay Cool, Michelle McCool, and Layla, and of course on the Go Home Raw that's entering TLC 2010, Lay Cool unveiled that table with Beth with Sharp Beth Phoenix and Natalia on it, and of course we know how that match ended. And of course, Ruby Riot unveiled the table with Jim the Anvil Neidhart on it last week on Raw. I'm going to say Natalia will win, and it'll be similar to that TLC 2010 finish. Natalia will put Ruby Riot through the table with Jim Neidhart on it. Give me Natalia in that match. Next up, we have a triple threat match for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. We have The Bar, Sheamus Cesaro versus The New Day, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Big E. Against the Usos, Jimmy and Jay. Um, this matchup, title's not rumored to change hands, so I'm going to take the bar to retain. So next up, we have a triple threat TLC match for the SmackDown Women's title, where the title will be hanging above the ring. you got to climb the ladder to retrieve the title. Becky Lynch defends against Charlotte Flair and Asuka. Now, for this match, it, the title is rumored to be changing hands. But who's it supposed to be? Um, they're saying it's supposed to be Asuka. It's rumored that Asuka's going to be winning the match at TLC. Be winning the SmackDown Women's title. Because, because I believe it's either Becky Lynch or Charlotte Flair are rumored to be winning the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble. One of the two. And whoever of those two does win the Rumble match, they're going to be challenging Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. So I guess I'm going to take Asuka to win. I guess WWE is the sign to put confidence back in Asuka for now. Honestly, she's talented. The only reason they haven't gave her a push is because of her English issues. Honestly, there is a solution to this problem. Just get her a goddamn manager. 
like Paul Heyman with Brock Lesnar. That easy. So next up, speaking of Raw Women's title, our next matchup is for the Raw Women's Championship. Ronda Rousey defense against Nia Jax. Yep, I think it's pretty obvious Ronda Rousey's retaining this since Ronda's supposed to be in the main event of WrestleMania this year. So Ronda, I got Ronda retaining. Next matchup is a TLC match. We have Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin. And of course the question is, will Braun be medically cleared? Entering TLC after that elbow surgery. You know what? Whether Braun's cleared or not, like Braun's supposed to be having some elbow testing in a couple days to fully decide if he's going to be cleared to go. I have a feeling Braun's going to show up at TLC. I just have a feeling Braun's going to show up or something's going to happen and Baron will not become the permanent Raw general manager. Honestly, I hope I hope Baron doesn't become the permanent general manager because we've seen how much of a dumpster fire Raw's been. So, I'm going to say, whatever happens, Baron will not win the match. So, yeah, let's continue on. Next up, our next matchup is for the Intercontinental Championship. We have Seth Rollins defending against Dean Ambrose, a.k.a. the two the two main tar focuses in Unsolved Mysteries. And don't worry, Unsolved Mysteries is making a special TLC appearance. So yeah, what, so yeah, Dean recently turned heel, so I think it's obvious Dean's going to win the title. So I'll take Dean Ambrose winning to continue this feud. So give me Dean Ambrose winning the Intercontinental title over Seth Rollins. And this would make Dean a three-time Intercontinental champion. And then finally, we get to our final matchup. The WWE Championship match. Daniel Bryan will defend against AJ Styles. So this is actually going to... I think this is going to be a good match. Tough to see. I see... Can, to be honest, though, AJ's also rumored to be winning the Men's Rumble match. Plus, AJ's rumored to be also be going to Monday Night Raw in the shakeup. And it's also rumored that Miz is going to be feuding with Daniel Bryan for the WWE title at WrestleMania. Because, yes, we're already getting those WrestleMania talks. So I'm going to say Daniel Bryan will retain the WWE title. But yeah, those are my TLC 2018 predictions. Let me know what your predictions are. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Let's just hope TLC doesn't end up like a complete trash heap like Survivor Series was. And we actually get some half-decent booking for a goddamn change. But yeah, and of course sometime next week, I will be reviewing my 2018 predictions. And we're gonna see how bad I did in those. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope everyone has a great day and yeah, peace out.